another installment of Learning OS X. Today we're going to jump into a slightly more advanced subject, uh, but one that we've received a lot of emails on, uh, and that is how to use uh, BitTorrent, a very popular file sharing protocol, on your Mac OS X system. So let's uh, jump right into it. Uh, first off, before you can uh, begin to download uh, torrents, you need a BitTorrent client. So we're going to launch our Safari here, and we're going to get ourselves a BitTorrent client. And there's many that you can choose from. I happen to prefer Transmission uh, because it's free and uh, runs on multiple operating systems. We'll click on Transmission, click on Download, and we'll download the Transmission BitTorrent client. That's going to go into your Downloads folder, and uh, it's in the process now of extracting. You can see over here it's mounting the disk, and it's finished. And when we go to the Downloads folder, you'll see we have the Transmission application. We can run that from here, but most likely you would want to take this file and drop it in your Applications folder, uh, which we've already done. So now once it's installed, you can launch it uh, either by browsing to the Applications folder or my preferred way is to use Spotlight and launch the program. And in general, that's all you need to do. Uh, in fact, once it launches, it goes and registers uh, the fact that it's the default Bit, uh, BitTorrent client on your system. So now uh, the next step is to actually find a BitTorrent client. And if you're uh, a Google savvy person, um, you should be able to uh, easily do that. I'm a big fan of South by Southwest. It's a it's a huge uh, music and video and film festival that runs every year in Austin, Texas. And one of the things that they do is provide MP3 releases of the music that um, goes on during the festival. And some person was kind enough to package those into a BitTorrent. And that's what we'll use today as our example. So we go to this website. You can see there's a number of files here that end in the extension .torrent. If we click on one of those, it'll download the file. And as you can see down here in our downloads folder, the file's complete. And this file doesn't represent the actual songs. It represents a uh, index into where those songs might be found uh, through other torrent clients on the internet. Uh, BitTorrent is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol. So what that means is uh, typically you'll have a group of people on the internet that are sharing the file. And the more people that share, uh, the more robust the file transfer is, and also typically the faster the, tr the transfer occurs. Um, one of the advantages to distributing software and large files over BitTorrent clients is you're not subject to uh, network outages the same way you would be uh, if a company released a application and a million people tried to download the application all at once. So let's open our BitTorrent file, and as you can see, uh, when you click on that, it lists the name of all the uh, files inside this particular BitTorrent client. And you can see the, there's 519 files, about 2.45 gigabytes. Uh, the default locations downloads, that's fine for now. We click on Add, it adds the files to the list and begins to do the transfer. We're certainly not going to sit here for the uh, time it's going to take to download, but it is important to see uh, this process actually running. And as you can see, that file was uh, a couple gigabytes in size, but because of the large number of people that are sharing the file, the transfer rate's actually pretty good. And in this case, uh, there's 22 peers or 22 uh, uh, other copies of this torrent that uh, this particular torrent file is using as a source. Um, we're using 15 out of those 23, 14 out of those 23, and that will fluctuate depending on the number of uh, additional peers uh, that get connected to, uh, uh, to this uh, web of torrents. As you can see down here, 
there's a list of uh, the bit rate that it, you're transferring at. And while this demo is running here, we'll look at some other some other features of the, the transmission application. You can go up here and you can set a speed limit. So if you're doing transfers during the middle of the day and you don't want to slow down your internet connection for the rest of the people in your family, you can uh, limit the speed of the transfer. A little turtle turns on and that drops the speed down. As you can see, the amount of time it's going to take to transfer that goes way up. Of course, we want that file as soon as possible, so we're going to uncheck that turtle. You can also set specific limits to downloading and uploading. One of the uh, benefits of the BitTorrent as, uh, protocol, as I had indicated earlier, is that you become uh, a node on this network as you are downloading the file. So you become one of the sharees of the file, or at least the part of the file that you have. Um, you can limit that so that uh, your upload uh, speed isn't affected by somebody uh, transferring this file from your computer. Uh, we'll leave it to unlimited for this example, but uh, you can set it to you know whatever you feel is you're comfortable uh, uh, sharing. And as I said, we're not going to sit through this four-hour uh, process in order to get the file. But suffice it to say, at the end of the process, you're going to have uh, a completed uh, file. And that concludes the very basic overview of how to use transmission uh, as a BitTorrent client and how to download a specific BitTorrent client. For more great tutorials on getting to know OSX better, you can visit learningosx.com. Thanks.